even after everything that Oscar just did in this film, they still put him on trial. Let's talk about this. Hey guys, Brent here, back for Geek Variants Part 1 of our Part 2 Double Feature we have coming today. We'll start with the Black Clover movie, and my co-host will handle everything involving The Flash later on this evening. But look, this film is going to have some spoilers for it, so if you're not ready, I'm going to give you a moment now with this lovely subscribe button to reprove yourself from this. Go watch the film, then come back and we'll talk about it. But look, this film may have been one of the best anime films I have seen, period. Uh, I was nervous and apprehensive at first whenever you slap uh, Netflix's name on top of any adaptation of something that has been going on due to the fact that they've tried so many times to make anime work for them and it just hasn't. And to be honest, after waiting, I want to say what, four years, almost five years since the last time we got a Black Clover episode of anything, this was phenomenal. This was 100% true to the roots. It was authentic. It was great. The action was everything that it needed to be the story was phenomenal and you really felt yourself sympathizing with conrad almost and obviously not the way that he went about handling his business because that was wrong but at the same time you started to feel like conrad was making a point that the clover kingdom as a whole has been jaded scarred and broken over the years and that the royalists really are the real villains i mean honestly the Royalist killed his wife and destroyed everything that he wanted to achieve and all because he wanted everyone to have the same shot in life that Julius is once again trying to pass on. So the fact that Conrad is being framed as this terrible, terrible villain, it makes perfect sense. But at the same time, the real problem in this film is the theme that it, it talked about throughout. Force change versus naturally occurring change. And... Being a force change is easy to do. You just have to be the strongest individual within any barometer of anything or have the most level of power to enact whatever you want to have happen. It'd be like a direct decree from a president or something. You'd be forcing the people to change based upon whatever whims that you have at that time. It is a quick band-aid fix and overall you'd be like, ah oh, yeah, cool, issue solved, nothing to worry about. But you didn't address the underlying root cause of why this was a problem in the first place. Through the natural change that Julius and Lumiere and Ostia are trying to bring about, they're trying to change people's hearts for the better. And if you're able to win people's hearts, you're able to win their confidence, you're able to win their trust, and they're going to start being more receptive to the plan that you have overall. So everyone will follow you into whatever change you want. It's overall slower and a much more difficult uphill battle. But it is ultimately achievable, especially when you have someone like Asa who never gives up. And you can see that he was one side of the same coin that Conrad was. Conrad was just a little bit further along and he didn't have the necessary friends that he needed to get things going. The only person he seems to have trusted was his wife. And, well, she was executed for just being a person. They didn't really delve too far into that. But... It was a really, really well told film. The arc was great. The battles were definitely on point. Anytime you get to see Mara Leona go absolutely all out is amazing. The fact that they give the Wizard Kings proper levels of respect. You had the Jester going up against Yami, Nozel, Foygolion, and Yuno at the same time. That is a great pairing overall and some of the strongest wizards that the kingdom has, period. So the fact that he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and he was not beaten by those four goes to show just how damn strong he was. Um, Lady Fagolion, uh, Mara Leona, having to go up against uh, Princess Funny Bunny. Holy hell. You thought Princess Funny Bunny was just there just to create army pieces for the longest point in this film. They gave her zero respect and I thought her character was very poorly done until... All of a sudden, she's not holding back, and she's literally putting hands on Mara Leon and like, okay. So that's that's why you were the Wizard Kings or Wizard Queen, whichever title you prefer. And God, that was it was really exciting to see. Uh, Edward Avalanche was overall kind of boring, I will say, as far as villain goes. I believe Jester was truly the only one of the four that were truly evil. 
he was all about himself and making sure that his dreams, goals, and ambitions came to fruition, as opposed to anything else that had been going on. And Avalanche was just like, yeah, uh, the nobles are kind of a problem. We need to make sure that everyone who's even the most basic of peasants can have the same access to the same civil rights and liberties as everyone else. And this show has delved into this time and time and time again of a classism and a poor versus elite struggle that's been going on in the Clover Kingdom for now what seems like decades and they did a great job encapsulating everything up. I still don't know how they're going to try and explain that Lumiere is just popping in and out of being dead and not dead. I mean how strong and broken is this individual? That is still up for debate. Um, there's a lot of great things to talk about in this film. Sound off in the comment section below as to what your favorite scene was, favorite characters, everything that was going on. Overall, my favorite scene was everyone in the Battle Royale in the absolute opening of the film. I thought that was nice. Um, Asta, once again, giving his speeches that make you want to run through a wall. And overall, I would give this film a 9.2 out of 10. It is a phenomenal film. Go out and see it. It's on Netflix. It is thoroughly enjoyable. I had a hell of a time. I hope you did as well watching this video. Share the love the road subscribe button if you made it this far in the video. Really like the content. We got tons of great stuff coming for you, the viewer, because that's all what we're all about here. Let's talk about everything that we love as geeks. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, here's two more for you to enjoy.